Hello and welcome back to the Genesis Edge video series. Uh, my name is Charles Johnson. I am the lead trainer for LinkSpring. And today we're going to talk about where to find the Edge files to actually program our Edge controllers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our favorite web browser. In this case, I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge, but if you wanted to use Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, uh, they all will work. And in the uh, web browser, we're going to type in resources.linkspring.com. You can see I've already been here before. We're going to hit enter. And now we're going to choose to log in just to make sure. And if you do not have uh, a login, make sure that you register for one. After we log in, we're going to go to the Genesis Edge. And as we scroll down here, we're going to see about halfway down, we're going to see this software page here. And when we click on this software page, this comes up with a bunch of Genesis Edge software releases. We have here the Genesis Edge VAV stuff, which we'll go on in a later video. For now, we're going to choose between the Genesis Edge 4.9.1, 4.11.2, and 4.10.4. Currently, I am working in 4.11.2, so I'm going to select Download. After I select Download, the folder will be in your probably Downloads folder. Uh, but just make sure that wherever the zip file is, you will need to go and extract it. And I've already downloaded it to save time, and I've already extracted the zip file here. When I open up the zip file, I see one, two, three, four, five folders. I have the conversion disk, the clean disk, the core files, the Onyx drivers, and of course the docs. So the documents actually give you instructions for updating uh, edge files uh, in Workbench currently. However, uh, if you didn't have those documents, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take the Onyx drivers and put these in your modules directory. So because it's 4.11.2, we are going to make sure that we put them in our 4.11.2 directory. So we're going to multi-select them all. We're going to copy them. We're going to go to our C drive. We're going to go to our Genesis folder. We're going to go to 4.11.2, and in 4.11.2, we're going to choose the modules directory. I want to right click and we're going to select paste. And when we do, it'll paste them in there. It's going to ask me if I want to replace mine uh, because I've already added them before. I'm not going to do that now. The second one that we need to do when we go back to the uh, folder here for downloads, we have the clean disks and core conversions. These actually will go, if we highlight all these, they're going to go back into the Genesis folder that we had here under the clean disk directory. So you see here that I have the 414, uh, 514, uh, 534 here, the legacy and uh, the monet as well. Next, when we go back, we're going to go back to our conversion disks and they're going to go into the conversion directory. So if I were to copy these, right click them and copy, go back to our Genesis directory. The same will be going to 4.11.2. And now we have a conversion folder. And this is where we will go ahead and place those. Now, the last one that we need to do are these core files. These core files, when we highlight these all, these will actually go in a special folder. When we right click and copy these, these don't go here in the C drive, the Genesis directory. They actually go into the user home of the Niagara installation. So we're going to go to users. I'm going to go to my user and I'm going to find my four Niagara 4.11. In here, I'm going to select my Genesis folder. I'm going to go to my software directory and in my inbox, I'm going to right click and paste them. What this will do is that this will go ahead and install uh, these in the software directory in your Niagara directory when you open it up. So I'll just show you that they belong here. But again, I've already installed all these, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Where these end up going, even including the modules, even though when you put modules in the modules directory, if you go to your Genesis uh, installation, you go to the software folder, you'll see there are many different types uh, or firmware re or, or revisions of software. So if I were to click on the 4.11.2.0.48, I 
I see I have some Onyx drivers there. If I go to 48.55, I still have some more Onyx drivers. Uh, 411.2.48, you see now I've got the disk files that I were I would have installed. These are actually important to make sure that you have. Uh, when you install Niagara for the first time, you install a bunch of modules. Well, based upon these modules, um, they have a specific software revision. And based upon that software revision, it creates a folder and will actually put them in there for you. So if I go to my uh, 18.0, we see that I have more edge files here. 18, that's the lin uh, Lynx Kit PX that we have the jar file. But those are where all the, uh, all the files will reside uh, after we run Workbench for the first time. That concludes how to install the edge files. Thank you very much and have a good one.